So uh, you uh, you learned a lot about track from your mother. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, well, we pretty much grew up on the track. Both our parents coached since we were born, and she was literally born at track practice. Um, but from anything for practicing on the weekends, off season, she was my coach up until my sophomore year. And um, she just taught me pretty much everything I know, how to race, how to start, how to hand off, and how to compete. Yeah, I mean, mostly for myself, it really came from just, you know, asking her questions, be like asking, well, how do your girls do it? Just as I was never actually under her um, as an athlete. And um, so I just really kind of, it came from just conversations at home. Like, well, I saw her do this way. Should I be doing it this way? Or, um, you know, little critiques she would give me after race day and just small things here and there. But after a while, after obviously living with her for 16 years, it piles up and you learn a lot and I can, can attribute a lot of what I know to her. Maggie, you're going away to college. Talk about that. Um, well, I'm really excited to get out and explore. I'm moving to Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, so I'm really excited to get out of Ohio and see what's, what else is out there. I mean, I'm going to miss everyone so much. I've gotten so close with Caroline over the past two years and it's going to be hard away from her being away. but. I'm excited to get out and learn something new and be somewhere new. Are you going to miss the competition between you and your sister, Caroline? <laughs> um, there's no doubt in my mind it's going to continue. Like during season and stuff, I'll probably send her text, be like, "Hey, I just scored three goals and ran like a sub 60 400. What are you doing?" You know, <laughs> and her little things like, "Hey, I stayed up till midnight. How late did you stay up?" And I, I don't think it's really going to disappear all that much as it's so prevalent right now. Yeah.